Welcome to Microsoft Word Lab number two. Uh, today's lab is going to be very simple. So let's go ahead and uh, look at uh, what we have in this lab. Uh, to get started, you will need to download a file which is called uh, uh, Word Lab 2 Instructions. Uh, this file is located on Blackboard. So go ahead and download the file from uh, Assignments and then you need to look for learning module week number five or the week that has this lab and then you will need to look for WL2 and then after you look for WL2 make sure you download the uh, file which is uh, uh, in a link uh, attached to uh, this uh, lab I already did that and I will go ahead and open it the first step is to drag the title and then uh, hold and drag it all the way until I reach the right side of my uh, screen. I have my instructions. Uh, in this lab we will learn how to open and save a document. Also we will, we will apply, we will also apply uh, some basic text format, then we will type uh, some text cut and copy and then paste the text into the document finally we will use the format printer so are you ready to get started with this lab to get started you need to uh, go to the instruction sections here uh, and then read uh, the first instruction it says open a blank document if you already have Microsoft Word open uh, if you press Control N that will uh, open a blank document you drag it from the title and then uh, keep holding and then uh, move it all the way until you reach the left side of your screen or the left edge of your screen and that will open the instructions in the right side as you see and the solution on the left side and uh, the title here it says document 2 which is which means that this is a default name so it says here save it as word save what save the document that you just opened the blank document as word lab 2 in where in documents uh, Microsoft Word lab folder so you go to file and then save and then you click on uh, the location under computer under Microsoft Word lab if you don't have this folder you need to create it and uh, you call it Word lab uh, 2 uh, you don't have to put an extension Microsoft will add an extension for you because you have the save type as DOCX and then click on uh, on save all right uh, now number three it says close uh, word lab 2.docx which is the one that uh, well I will close it right away so I will close it now I don't have it uh, in the left side of my screen and then do what and then reopen it again reopen it again so I will go to uh, the instructions documents, click on file, and then click on open, and then my uh, recent documents here, Word Lab 2, if I click on it, now I have it uh, open, if I click on the title and drag to the left side of my screen, I will position it to the left side. It says here starting from the first line in, in the documents, which is the Word Lab 2, click the title from the styles group so you click here in your solution and then you go to the styles group look for uh, title so this is the title you click on it which means that you are applying the title uh, format type the title uh, working uh, with uh, Microsoft Word uh, 2013 right and then press enter before you press enter make sure go back space here it says center the title so to, to center it you need to select it and then once you select it you will get the mini toolbar do you see do you have the center in the mini toolbar uh, actually I don't have it so you need to go back to the home here home tab and then uh, center the title right now uh, at the end so it says here center the title already that press enter twice after the title so you go to the end of the title and then press enter uh, twice 
click heading one so after you press you press enter twice you need to go to the styles and then <coughs> uh, choose uh, heading uh, one and then do what from the styles group then type the heading open and save uh, a document so I will go ahead and type here open and uh, save uh, a document all right open and save a document and then press enter uh, once uh, it says here type the following paragraph below the heading open and save a document so this is an image here so you need to make sure that you look at the text in this image and uh, uh, start typing it line by line and then follow the instructions uh, you already have it uh, uh, have it uh, written so you have uh, two images here you need to type the text in these two images so I will go ahead and do that quickly because we don't have time to uh, do it in here I will go ahead and uh, put these two paragraphs now uh, let's go look at the instruction after bold so uh, now in the image you will see here open open MS Word 2013 it is in bold so that means that once you type the text make sure that you bold I already did that you bold this uh, this text do you know how you click on uh, bold and then you can start a blank document so if you look at the blank document it is already in bold so let's read the instructions again bold open okay and then after you bold it use the format painter to apply bold to the text as shown in the image provided in number uh, number in, uh, number seven here so in number seven so I will go back here uh, in number seven what does it say it says blank document should be bold uh, template should be bold so basically what you need to do you need to uh, uh, click anywhere inside the first text that has the bold format that you just applied and then click on the format uh, painter and then you highlight the text that you would like to apply this format to all right if you would like to keep the format painter with you you double click on it if you double click on it look you will keep it with you you click on any word inside your document and it will take the new format once you are done you press escape so please make sure that you practice doing that that is very important that's why we have that in a lab uh, by by itself Right. at the end of the second paragraph place the insertion point then press enter once so I will go to the second paragraph and then press enter uh, once click heading one from the styles group located under the home tab so we will go to the home tab styles group I need to click on uh, heading one All right and then uh, what is coming next type the text copy and paste in a document so I will uh, type here copy uh, and paste uh, in a document and then uh, press enter once after the heading and type the following text again you will start typing this text by the way uh, this text has bulleted list so the first time you type the text it will not have a bulleted list so I expect you to apply the bulleted list to the control C control X control V as you see it here we already covered the bulleted list in the past but by now you should be able to do it on your own in my scenario here I already uh, typed that so I will go ahead and uh, put it in that uh, location uh, now it says after you complete the above paragraph uh, in uh, number uh, uh, 11 select the entire paragraph paragraph including the heading copy and 
paste in a document so you will select the entire paragraph here all right and then cut the cell cut do you know how to cut you go to the home tab under the clipboard and then click on the scissor or you can press ctrl x and that will uh, cut it then position the insertion point uh, below, below uh, uh, the last paragraph right one second so I will position the insertion point below the last paragraph and then uh, I will paste by clicking on paste or I can press ctrl V so that will paste the text I just uh, cut from my from my document so uh, next here you will see that I need to uh, zoom after you paste the text you need to zoom in the document by 150 percent you already did that and I will do it one more time here I will go to the zoom section zoom 150 and once you do that you should be able to get uh, the document uh, if I maximize here you should be able to see it as I expect you uh, to create it so that's how your document should look like uh, without any green the reason the instructions has green because I'm trying to uh, make you understand that this is the text that you need to uh, type from so you don't confuse you don't get confused between this text and the uh, actual uh, instructions uh, I think that takes us to the end of uh, this uh, lab uh, after you finish you need to save your uh, document make sure that you save it and then upload it to blackboard as we uh, did in previous uh, labs thank you everyone and i will see you in the future